I'm going to show you how to optimize your settings in Zoom for music. This is going to be for a laptop, a desktop, and some tablets. Settings on phones are different, and I can't tell you much about them. Generally, you get better quality on a laptop, a desktop, or a higher quality tablet. If you're in a Zoom meeting, you'll see a window like this. If you have your webcam off, like I do here, you'll see your display name in the center. Of course, if you have your webcam on, you'll be seeing faces and such. What you want to do to optimize your settings is to go down to this mute button here and cl left click on the small arrow that's to the right of it. This will bring up a pop-up menu where you want to click on audio settings. That brings up this window. And in this window, you want to be in the audio tab. There are various tabs, general settings, video, and you want to be in the audio tab. And here what you want to do is change the settings for music. Now, the default settings typically look like this. The automatically adjust microphone volume will be checked, and zoom optimized audio will be checked. These settings are the default because they are best for voice, for the typical kind of meetings that people have, business, talking to family, and such. But for music, these settings are actually quite bad. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, go down here and click on Original Sound for Musicians. This will make the sound sound much better because the noise cancellation that's optimized for voice that you get with the Zoom Optimized Audio will tend to remove a lot of the sound of the music. It just gets misinterpreted as noise. And it will make the music sound terrible. So this setting is much better. The next thing you want to do is uncheck Automatically Adjust Microphone Volume. That's because that setting is, a, is another form of noise cancellation that will clip out anything that's lower volume because it's interpreted as background noise. That's a real problem for pianissimo passages, which can simply get lost with that setting checked. And another thing is that when this is checked, it causes erratic changes in the volume of your instrument. So these are the audio settings that you want. If you happen to want to use an external microphone, which can be a good idea because many computers do not have high quality built-in microphones that are optimal for music. If you want to use an external microphone, you're going to want to make sure that you're choosing it in this drop-down menu here. So here you see I have a headset and I also have this built-in microphone that's built in with my laptop. And if I want to be using the headset, I could check this. But generally, the kind of external microphone that you're going to want to use would be a USB microphone that's good for music. So you want to make sure that you're choosing that. Otherwise, you will be using your built-in laptop or, or computer microphone, even though you have another one plugged in. So just remember that you're making the right choice on microphone. Same thing with speakers. If you happen to have external speakers, you want to choose the, the right speakers there. And then, of course, the other thing you can do in audio settings is set the volume. So if people are saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear your instrument, it's too soft, you can fix that either by moving it closer to the microphone, which can be a good idea, but sometimes will give you some uh, saturation when you're playing loud passages, so be a little careful with that. Alternatively, you can simply choose to increase the volume of your microphone with this slide button here, and same thing with your speakers. So once you have these settings done, you can close out this menu. And one thing you'll notice is that checking that, uh, that option for musicians caused this button here to appear in the upper left-hand corner of, of your Zoom window. And it, this is very important. It says original sound for musicians off by default. You want to click on it so that it will say original sound for musicians is on, noise suppression is disabled. Original sound for musicians on. You want this. The noise suppression being disabled, again, is a good thing because the noise suppression will actually cut out a lot of the sounds and harmonics and, and depths of sound of your instrument and make it sound quite bad. So at this point, you have the optimal settings for music, and you're all ready to go. And I hope you have a good music meeting. 
one thing you need to notice is that if you're going to go back and use Zoom again for a regular sort of video conference where, where it's voice rather than music, make sure that you reverse these settings and turn them back into the ones optimal for voice. Otherwise, everybody in your, your video conference will complain, again, that the sound isn't good. So keep that in mind. So I hope you have an excellent music meeting. Enjoy playing your instrument. Thank you for listening.